what is going on everybody my name is pete and you guys are watching paid to drive and pay to drive lives coming at you with day number 1462 with the brand new video hope you're all doing fantastic out there ladies and gentlemen if you drive for apps like grubhub doordash uber eats or any of the others you my friends are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy so get started right now for free Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style, and away we go. Now, this person asked to remain anonymous. So they said, hey, Pete, can you keep this anonymous, please? You got it. <clears throat> so they said, so I got an order for Jason's Deli tonight. So I used the widget and the zip code was where the street and house number would be. In my city, we don't have numbered streets. So I don't know if it was a scam order for a glitch or a glitch in somebody's system. The receipt from Jason's Deli showed the same thing the app showed DoorDash. I contacted support after clicking incorrect address and it told me to chat with support so i chatted with support for about 10 minutes and they ended the chat so i contacted the phone support people and the orders already going late and they said the customer tried to call me which is not true the customer did not call me but it was showing in their system that they tried to call me and it never came through my phone so the lady's like well I called and left a message two times for them to call me and you have to wait another five minutes. Uh, Grubhub does the same thing, by the way, with waiting another five minutes. I politely told her, no, I'm not waiting another five minutes. I've already waited 20 minutes for this order with no solution. She said, okay, I'll go ahead and cancel it and put me on hold while she did that. She gave me full pay, which was 750 for the order, but it's weird that the customer did not give a proper address. They put in the zip code where the address would be. They didn't have the city, the state, and the zip code where it's supposed to be. If you're giving a delivery, uh, if you're giving a delivery, it doesn't matter if it's food, postal service, FedEx, Amazon, won't give you the uh, won't give you your address and not just put a zip code. Zip codes could be five miles, it could be 20 miles, just saying, how am I supposed to find you if you don't have a street name? And I agree with that. I have a feeling that it was a scammer. DoorDash said that they did it through Jason's Deli and Jason's Deli sent it out to DoorDash. I don't understand how customers can't stand like this. Uh, I mean, I'm glad I got the order canceled, but what if it actually called the customer? My, what if I actually called the customer? Would my life have been put in, on risk or in risk or would I, would I have been safe? It could have been in a whole different zip code. It could have been a whole different city. I couldn't, I could have been robbed or I could have been shot. There's a whole lot of missing errors in this whole entire order. Why would you not give an actual address? Why would you just put a zip code in for your address for your street and house number? I contacted DoorDash. I didn't bother contacting the customer. Did I do the wrong thing? I was not comfortable delivering to a, uh, oh, well, the address should be the, be here and I get screwed over and get killed and nobody knows where I'm at. DoorDash doesn't know where I'm at. Family doesn't know where I'm at. Uh, friends don't know where I'm at. I think it was better for DoorDash to handle all the stuff than me. Am I wrong? So to this particular person, like I said, you didn't want your name being said, so that's, I'm respecting that. Uh, you, in my opinion, you handled it well. And do I think it was a scam? Yeah, I do. I absolutely think it was a scam because there are still people out there trying to scam the system, getting free food and, you know, claiming, oh, yeah, I never got my order and all this stuff. Like I'm really, myself, I'm really getting sick and tired of that crap because all it's doing is it's putting drivers on all the platforms in hot water, getting them deactivated for all they're trying to do is do their job just like you were doing. So yes, you going through DoorDash and not dealing with the customer directly, in my opinion, is always the better route because then DoorDash knows that you contacted them. Uh, there's a note in the system so that you're covering your ass. CYA, always cover your ass. And I think you did a great job of that. So honestly, if this ever happens again in the future, 
Now you know what to do. Go through DoorDash. Do not go through the customer because the customer is going to give you whatever story they're going to give you. Let DoorDash be the one to reach out to the customer. And this goes for Grubhub and Uber Eats as well. On Grubhub orders, I do not go through the customer. I go through Grubhub because at the end of the day, you want Grubhub on your side, not on the customer side. So keep that in mind. And in the future, guys, if you ever have anything you would like to share with me, a question, a comment, a topic, a story, an article, whatever you have, send me an email, paid to drive drive stories at gmail.com. It's the best way to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. Link is in the description down below or in the pinned top comment. So absolutely reach out. Uh, that would be cool. Uh, anyone who signs up on there as a patron is my way of saying thank you as I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos like I'm, I'm going to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. All right. And we've got John Birchfield, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, uh, Tulsa Todd, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Honor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Samantha Michaels, uh, Fresh One, Justin Case, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Ginny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, uh, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacy Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys out there. Really appreciate you all. If you guys want to sign up, links in the description or the pin top comment, as I mentioned. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. Let's find out. And with that being said, everybody, I hope every single one of you is saving lots of money out there with the free gas app called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Just scroll down to where it says uh, get the free gas app. You download it from there. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you use. And then from that point, what you got to do is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it down below, everybody. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, just like this Side Hustle t-shirt, one of my favorites, you can go to paytodrivestore.com. That link's in the description or the pin top comment. Make sure to go check that out. We've got lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day. Paytodrivestore.com is the place for you. And if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for you all. Leave a comment right now saying END322, E-N-D, 322. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to, don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And uh, leave a comment saying LIKED, L-I-K-E-D. And... Uh, that's about it. Till next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Later.